scores a goal. Can you believe it? It's extraordinary. Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. Adelaide kept eight spot a game clear with a nice win against the Saints, Kane. They did, Brady. Let's take a look at the result. Been a fierce week in Adelaide. Coach under pressure, but Tex and Bet seven between them. Eddie Betts back in the side was terrific. Laird's just a star. Matt Crouch had 35 to kick two as well. Gibbs back into the side for the Saints. Billings had a bit of it. Steele and Hunter Clark. But our next guest is one of the more improved players in the competition. Riley O'Brien is his name. Joining us from Adelaide. Riley, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me on, boys. Significant performance under a lot of pressure this week. Absolutely, yeah. The pressure was sort of on this week um, from the external <laughs> media and uh, it was really good to stand up and get the four points and play really well as a team. Just thought you came with an intensity as we roll the highlights from last night. You tackled pressure early on. You were really up for the contest right from the start and you got out of the blocks nicely and Eddie Betts was crucial in that. Absolutely, yeah. It was, that was definitely a focus going in. Our, our tackle pressure has probably been off the last couple of weeks, so our contest and pressure was a real focus, and um, we really wanted to play free, sort of um, energetic footy, and I thought we did that and got the win, which was great. You're the leader of the Rucks down there, clearly keeping Source out of the side. I just thought the one area the Saints got you last night was at the stoppages. How did you assess that at the breaks? Um, yeah, personally, probably didn't have my, my best game, but... Um, and we probably just uh, weren't, weren't quite clicking in there, but uh, I thought we did, did mo we kept the pressure on them in terms of when they got the clearance and we um, pressured their, their exit, so didn't, didn't get damaged too much, thankfully. It was a really good battle between you and Rowan Marshall, two young bulls going at it in the ruck. How did you see his form? Because he was great on the Sunday footy show last week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, been following him this year. He's, uh, he's a star, so just came up through the under-18s together and we're the same age and sort of a similar um, similar story. So, uh, yeah, no, he, he's great and hopefully a few more battles to come with him. Ro Rolly, how have you found it personally? Uh, obviously, uh, being rookie drafted back in 2015, it took a long time for you to establish yourself and yet when you did finally get your chance at the start of this year, you've taken it. Um, did you always feel the day would come and do you absolutely right now feel at home on an AFL venue? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's obviously uh, probably the story for a lot of Ruckman. We have to uh, bide our time a little bit, obviously with one spot generally in the team. Um, but yeah, I, I feel really comfortable in the team and I'm loving being out there. It's obviously been my goal for a couple of years and I've felt ready probably for a couple of years, but haven't really been able to get the opportunity. So I'm really enjoying just learning each week and trying to get better each week. And um, no, I'm loving being out there with the boys and having a blast. Hey, Riley, there was some media speculation through the week that Don Pike was losing his players. And suddenly there was a pizza night yeah. uh, at, around at Don's house. Is he, did he raise the topic of, you know, what can I do better? How do you view me? Those type of hard questions at that pizza night or was it just a, a casual night? Uh, that night was pretty casual, yeah. We just sort of uh, had, had a few pizzas and relaxed and... Um, didn't really talk much about footy um, and then during the week it was more just sort of saying there's a lot of external noise we just need to focus on what what's going on in the four walls and um, it's sort of funny to read all that stuff because um, not sure that there's that much truth in it a lot of it and yeah we, we just went about our business and focused on getting the win and had a really energetic and positive week and that flowed into the way we played. Riley, from pizza to beers to 99.75 in your VCE and you're studying a biomedicine degree. Tell us about that. What is that? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, a, uh, it's sort of a precursor to, to medicine. So I was going to do medicine out of school, but with footy, that wasn't possible. So I chose to do this and hopefully we'll do postgraduate medicine after footy. So... Um, yeah, not many of the boys are doing that sort of thing outside of footy, so it's, it, it's good. It's good to ha have on the side. Well, how challenging is it to take us inside study and footy and um, the demands that places on your life? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Probably just uh, my day off and my, my half day during the week are probably uh, pretty occupied with, with uh, uni stuff uh, and did three subjects last semester, so nearly a, nearly a full load. And um, Yeah, it, it's tough, but if you manage it well, you get, we, we have plenty of time to do stuff, so... Enjoying that and takes your mind off, off footy because it can become pretty monotonous if you're not doing something on the outside. Who do you talk to about all this at the club? Tex or the Crouch Brothers? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Tex and the Crouch Brothers and Seedsman, they're sort of the, um, yeah, they, they have pretty intellectual conversations. So we, we, we talk about that sort of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Mate, you've got the eight at the moment. You're in eight spot. Port Adelaide just behind you. It's going to be hard to hold on to that eight spot. Got the win last night, but finals are abound. 
Absolutely, yeah. So it's, all, it's, it's in our control, which is a good thing. We're obviously in the eight now and uh, it's ours to lose. So we just need to keep building our form and have, it, have a couple more wins and hopefully uh, ha have a big finals campaign. So yep. we just need to focus on what we're doing and have a win next week and go from there. Let's take a look at the votes. Last night, just uh, thought that Matt Crouch with his 35 and two goals, terrific. Laird the same. My boy Tex bounced back with four goals. He's kicked seven in the last fortnight, so been very solid. Oh, and Riley's opponent last night, Rowan Marshall, with a few votes there, Brownie. Riley, you're having a great season. Thanks very much for joining us on the Sunday footy show and good luck for the rest of 2019. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me on. No worries, mate. Very intelligent, man. Yes. 9.75. Yeah, okay, no, no, before we go to Billy's list, do you stand by what you said last week still, even despite the win last night that Don Pike has lost his playing group? Yeah, I, th I do stand yeah. by it. Yeah, I, I, and there's a lot to go in this season. They beat St Kilda yeah. at home last night, a side that has never won on Adelaide Oval. So they did what they did last night, and credit to them. Uh, big selection shocks again. Jenkins went back. The test's going to come for them yeah. in the next three weeks. West Coast, Collingwood, and that game round 23 against the Dogs in Ballarat.